The mix rack is the heart of the iLive digital audio processing system. It houses the DSP mix engine together with the control and audio networking interfaces. There are no less than six different mix racks available, including fixed format and modular designs. The system provides full dynamics, EQ and delay processing for all inputs and masters, eight built-in effects and 16 DCA groups. All mix racks provide the full 64 by 32 DSP processing and differ only in the number of physical input and output sockets available. The IDR64 is the biggest of the fixed format range with 64 mic line inputs and 32 XLR line outputs. IDR48 and IDR32 sit in the middle, while IDR16 is the smallest one, with 16 inputs and 8 outputs in a compact 3U rack chassis. Gain pad and phantom power are digitally controlled within the high-performance recallable analogue preamps. Inputs are identified by slot and socket number, for example A1 or C8. Any input can be patched to any DSP channel. iLive signals can be patched to any of these line-level balanced XLR output sockets. The outputs work at plus 4 dBU nominal level with plus 22 dBU maximum, providing plus 18 dB headroom. They are relay protected to prevent power on-off thumps. A built-in ACE interface is used to connect a surface or when linking a slave mix rack to a master in dual rack mode. ACE is Alan Heath's own protocol and stands for audio and control over Ethernet. A single Cat5 cable links audio and control. Control and MIDI are bridged over the ACE interface and tunneled through the cable. The system lock LED indicates mix rack digital audio sync lock. The built-in three-port Ethernet switch allows one or more laptops running iLive Editor, a wireless router, other iLive systems or external third-party devices to be connected. A recess switch lets you reset the network settings to factory default. MIDI in and out sockets, a headphone socket and PLA net or Planet RS485 port for PL series remote controllers are also provided. The port B option allows digital mic splitting and system expansion from a choice of audio networking cards. The fully modular IDR10 has 10 card slots for fitting any combination of input and output modules, including the mic line in module with 8 preamps and remote gain control, the line out module with balanced XLR sockets, the dual mic line in module with 16 inputs on screw terminal plugs, Digital I.O. modules with AES, EBU and SPDIF are also available, as well as the multi-digital out module, which gives 16 channels of ADAT plus Avium, Hearback and IDR Audio. The DSP Rack Extra module is the mix engine and provides the same 64 input to 32 bus configurable architecture found in the fixed format units. The remote audio module provides system clock, headphones and remote audio distribution. It fits up to two audio networking cards, Port A is the default surface to mix rack link, while port B allows digital mic split, system expansion and recording. The CPU module manages the system and allows remote control via MIDI, PLA net and Ethernet, thanks to a three-port integrated Ethernet switch. One power supply module is required and a second can be fitted for redundancy. The IDR10 can be ordered with a touring grade flight case, with rubber shock mounts to protect the rack. The IDR0 mini rack is similar to the IDR10 except it does not have any card slots for input or output modules. Instead it can be used as a slave mix engine in a front of house monitor system with digital mic split or as a compact mixer with an iLive modular surface using the audio I.O. in the back of the surface. Audio networking cards can be fitted to port B in fixed format mix racks and port A or B in iLive modular mix racks and surfaces. Currently available option cards include ACE, Ethersound, Maddy, Dante, Waves, and the Mini Multi Outcart with ADAT, Avium, and Hearback connection. Most of these cards are capable of 64 channels of bi directional audio.